Good morning, uh, Coach Bobby here uh, with another session for our Tidewater Bomber and Team Max Bat players. Um, today we're going to try and learn how to make a curveball rope bat and then hopefully give you some ideas how to use it, um, how to be able to use it in space uh, without having to chase balls all over the place. Got to give props to one of our coaches, Chris Williford. He came up with the idea after he saw it. Uh, at one of the parks he was at. Um, he's made a bunch of them for us. Anyway, it's brilliant, and hopefully you enjoy the session today. Okay, um, so what we want to do is, this is just an old wooden bat that we cut off about 18, maybe 24 inches um, from the knob. Uh, we drilled a hole right in the middle, and we put uh, some twine or rope through it, just locked the knot in with some tape. Took a baseball, drilled a hole through the baseball, tied a knot. Again, I always secure the knots with some tape because I don't trust my knots. And we have this about an arm's length apart, okay? And what the purpose is, is for us to be able to swing it. Uh, we're kind of like the pitcher, we'll be able to swing it and you'll see how you can use it for curveballs. Um, you can use it for rise balls uh, for softball players. Um, and how catchers can use it to frame the outside pitch. Uh, but anyway, it's good for vision, it's good for hand-eye coordination, and again, it just forces us to hit that quadrant one and three that we had talked about to where we're inside the ball, being able to hit the ball the other way. Okay, first up we have Bailey Murphy, superstar from Orion Hunter Elite in Grassfield High School. She's gonna demonstrate how we can use this to hit curveballs and rise balls for softball players. demonstrate real quick how you can use it as a catcher to frame around the outside pitches so that way you're making sure you're getting around the ball and you can keep that ball inside your square as a catcher. Here comes the boom, ready or not. Here comes the boys on the sound. Here comes the boom, ready or not. Now we're going to demonstrate how as a hitter it looks like a curveball coming in to you. See how you have that break from righty right-handed pitcher. Hope you enjoyed our segment on the curveball bat. Um, don't need a lot of space, don't need a lot of balls, don't need a lot of equipment. Um, basically something you can do in your backyard. Uh, hopefully it will help you with some hand-eye coordination. Uh, but bottom line, if you have some mechanics, if you're doing some drills, please send them to us. Uh, drop them in here so that way we can critique them, send them back to you, give you some guidance, give you some advice. And uh, just have a safe and great day. Um, 